Recording top left. It's yeah. recording. If you want yeah. to pause at any stage. Right. There's not there's not a lot to do to this Go one. On if you right. right. So gas, gas regulator. Yeah. It's all, all set up, ready to go. You turn your gas cylinder on and off. This little catch. I don't know if you can see that little black one at the back. Yeah. Got that. Okay. So you just that that's off. Turn that position. It's on. Okay. To remove it off, if you want to change gas bottle, this little. If I just, just pick it off first. Right. See that there. Yeah. That's that locks it on. So when you okay. put it on, it just clips on. To get it off, you have to lift that and it will come off. So if you want, say you've emptied that bottle, you want to change onto that one. Yeah. You you can't take it off when it's still when it's switched on, because if it was switched on, it would clash. That locks it. Okay. okay. So that's switched off. So it just you should do it. Click. Yeah. Okay. And then we switch it on. That stops it from actually lifting up. Okay. Reg regulator there, you can use propane or butane off that particular regulator, so you can use red bottles if you want to. Okay. But you'll need a different pigtail. Okay, this one is obviously fitting for that type bottle. The, the propane is a screwing type, so you'd, you'd have to... Okay. There is an on-off button it matter? there. Is there one that's preferable to the other? Um, butane tends to be more of a summer gas. It, it'll, it tends to decide not to gas off at around about below 4 degrees centigrade. Okay, so it will gas off okay up to... What's off me? Well, if obviously it's a gas, it's a liquefied gas. Container, it'll curl up and you'll just be drawing air off the top of the container. <laughs> so make sure it's straight. And then that just clicks in. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you about the water system when we get in there how to operate that inside. Okay. Right, you've got a leisure battery. So the systems on this van, you can run without electric. Okay. Okay. You won't be able to run the heater on electric because you won't have electric connected. Obviously, if you've got electric connected, you can use a heater on electric. There is systems on the inside will run on 12 volt. So there's lights, they're on 12 volt. So that's, that's the reason why we have a leisure battery. Okay. Um, when you so put it into 240, it will charge your leisure battery. When you're connected to your car, as we said, when that's connected to the car, it will feed power and charge the battery as well. Okay. And it's also got a solar panel, which charges the battery as well. But. So will that run things like charging the iPad and stuff like that? Or? Um, it may... It, 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 yeah. If you've got 240 connected, you can plug in your iPad or any yeah. other sockets and 240 sockets in there. Yeah. If you tend to go on sites, most of the time that you'll have 240 to plug in. That's, right. that's the best thing to, to operate. If you go on rallies and things like that, which haven't got any electric hookup, you can yeah. still work the water. The, the water pump works off 12 volt, so that'll work the water. You operate things on gas, but you need the 12 volt electric or battery to actually like igniters and things like that on the okay. van. Okay. But most of the time you'd be plugged into 240, I would expect. Are these standard fittings? Because I've got yes. I've got a cable like this on, yeah, well, on a, a roll. Yeah. Cable, Are you, uh, there is one of these. Yeah, is it? cable right. comes with it, yeah. <coughs> okay. And that's long enough to go to most things. Yeah, it should be, yeah. Things, okay. Yeah, it's a standard size, yeah. Okay. When, you, when you're connecting your van, always connect the electrics to this first. Can we see that? Okay. Yeah. So you just push it on there. Always connect it to your van first, then unravel it all and plug it into your bollard. Don't do it the other way around. You connect your bollard first. Obviously, your kind of live cable then across wet grass uh, or whatever to plug it in there. Obviously, it's safer to do it that side, that end first, then do it yeah. into the actual power after. That's a good tip. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Also, obviously, <coughs> we've got this here. That actually, the cable goes in there, and then you always lock your, your locker up. Okay. So you, there's no one there going to be pulling your electric, <laughs> electric cable out. But let, no, obviously, we always have it. Showing it like this because obviously it's easy for us, but yeah. that's that's where it, it sits. When you, and then obviously lock the locker up. They're quite expensive though, batteries as well, aren't uh, they? Yes, you yeah. know, over hundred quid. And, so nice. Them pipes we just we just saw there, then grey ones. Yep. You've got your waste master, which is this here. Okay. Which has got a few a few places where you can actually put the pipe in. Okay. So what you do is connect this to the side of the van, which is which is just slot that into there, slot that into there. Oh right, okay. And then that. Goes into waste master. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So it's fairly straightforward. All right. I'll just get it going. I'll just see if I, I think I'll put. I'll just get the keys. Okay. This up here. This is your flush reservoir. Okay. What you've got, you should have in your pack, is two chemicals: a pink chemical and a blue chemical. Okay. Okay. The pink chemical goes in there about that much, and then you top it up with water. So that's for flushing your toilet. Okay. Okay. You do not know, you know it's, it's difficult to tell, I should say, you do not know, but it's difficult to tell if it's full or empty. The only time you know it's full is when you can see it for that hole there. Okay. Okay, you only know it's empty when you're flushing it, there's nothing coming out. Okay. Right? Um, the other thing is, do not travel with that full. 
Because okay. if it overflows inside your van, you don't want trouble. that really. Yeah. So you, you can have some some level in there, but don't have it all the way full. Okay. So if, if I don't know how old your kids are or whatever, but if they're quite young and they're like my kids here, they want to stop on the way, you can stop somewhere. Obviously yeah. your kids can use the toilet, or you can use the toilet if you want to, or okay. whatever. Okay. All right. right so that, that's that bit. <clears throat> How many sort of flushes will that do then? Oh, quite, quite a few. Yeah. Quite a few, yeah. Um, change it once a day, a, sort of thing, do you? Or? It might probably last longer than that, to be okay. honest. Yeah. Right. It obviously depends how often you <clears> use it. If you're going on, to, uh, if you're going to be a member of the caravan club site or camping and caravan, they've got pretty good facilities. Use it, use them as much as you can. We tend to use it just to, like at night time. You know, obviously you don't want to be traipsing across the facilities and whatever yeah. in the middle of the night <clears> if, you can, if you can help it, but yeah. Um, obviously, it depends how young your, your kids are. If you don't want them wandering off, um, trying to find the toilets. Okay. Or it depends on what site you're on. Obviously, you might be a bit far away from the from it, so you're gonna. Oh, it's raining. You don't want to go across the across the grass. Right. Waste waste cassette. You see that orange lever there? Just yep. lift that, and it should slide out. And obviously, <laughs> the the your waste uh, the waste gate is uh, open. One. I'll just go into it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So it's only just slightly, slightly open. It won't allow the cassette to come out. Okay. You know, I would, I would have uh, described that. Well, obviously, that was quite good because it actually did it. So if it's not coming out easy, the wastegate is open on the toilet, so you need to close that before you try and pull it out. So what's then, in there then? Right, that's that's, that's going to be what the toilet. Uh, right. Okay. Whatever you do in the toilet, that's what it's going to collect in what we call the waste tank. Right. So the handle there and wheels obviously make it easier to go and take it to where you're going to empty it. Yeah. Before you use it. You're going to need to put a blue chemical in, it, in this one okay. and about a pint of water or a litre of water. You can tip that in there if you want to. It has got a measuring jug on there for okay. the blue chemical. Put that in there. So that's, you, that's the first thing, or one of the first things you do when you're setting up. If someone is going to use it, the reason why you've got that blue chemical and the water in it is that's to start breaking down the nasty stuff before it is, it is emptied. Okay. Okay. To empty it, you've got, obviously, you come through that, that orifice there, you've got an air button there. Okay. okay. So obviously you take that lid off, and uh, it empty, empties out like that. You have specific points to empty it. Normally they're a big funnel, big white funnel with a brick wall around it. Okay. Some are indoors, some are outdoors. What you've got to be careful of is this. Okay. Do not put it on the wall, because the likelihood when you go to empty it, you go ding. That goes down the hole, and it's a big hole, and you're not going to stick your hand down there. No. All right. And the warden's not going to be happy if you've blocked all these uh, the system up. So put it on your on the floor behind you or to the side of you, don't okay. put it on that wall. Good tip, yeah. Okay. Oh, to clean it. So, so sorry, that, that's your mucky stuff? Yes. That waste master there, is that, that just water yeah, out of the shower grey, and yeah, the called, sink, is it? Yeah, it's called grey water, yeah, so that's <coughs> just your, yeah, whatever comes out your sink. This is the toilet. And the do they toilet. get disposed of in like separate wasty yes, areas yeah, on the side? Yeah. Yeah. So normally you'll find a grid, you're, what you're, no, like the, camping, the club sites normally have a, a facility where you've got a taps, You've got drains, so you, you you'll take that, tip that, or you may have the tap next to it, so you can fill the acker all up at the same time yeah. or at yeah. different times. This will have its separate one. Sometimes I think the caravan club will have all them kind of facilities pretty close together, so you'll yeah. have the, the toilet emptying over there, and then the, the wastewater there, and then some over here. Okay. Okay. All right. For cleaning this, you know, in, in between use as during the week or whatever, all you, all you need to do is just put a bit of water in. Slosh it around and empty it back out again. Don't thrash it around because there's a float inside there that indicates the level if it, when this is full on your toilet system. Okay. Okay. If you go and loo loosen that and that drops out down the emptying point, which again you're not okay. going to be fishing around and getting that back out, it won't tell you what the uh, level of that is. Okay. So you can slosh it around. You can access it through there as well. Okay. So there's access through there as well to clean it as well. Okay. I do not. Uh, you actually see. You see the float there, look? You see that? Oh, right, yeah. So yeah. if you flash the water around in it too much, that could come off and disappear. Are they then, easily replaceable? Then? Um, yeah, they're not too bad, but <coughs> it's just being careful and obviously try not, try not to do that. Yeah, okay. okay. And that just slides back in, into that position. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to be gross, but the, the blue chemical you've put in there, it, yeah. it gets rid of the solid, so it pours out quite easy, is it? Uh, not, not always. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Depends how solid solid is. Okay. Um, it, it's it's just a chemical there to obviously start breaking down. It's it's not gonna, you know, it's not it's not like a mash. Kind of yeah. thing. It's, it's not getting anything like that. But okay. it, you know, sometimes you can have you can have a bit of trouble trying to get it back, trying to get it. Yeah. Out. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it, it it just helps with the breaking down when it goes into the chemical uh, disposal point. Okay. Okay. On here we've got on this little shelf 
This is yeah. uh, this is the drain for your flush tank. Okay, for winter it's, it's oh, always I very see. important yeah. to drain things down. Okay. Okay, especially your water system because the last thing you want is water still in your van and it freezing. If you're yeah. using the van, obviously there's going to be water in it because and you're going to have heating on it. If it's in storage, you're not using it, and there's water in there, and it freezes hard, which it has done for the you know, last couple of weeks, <laughs> it can it can not necessarily burst pipes, but with caravans, they're push fit. So it oh, can okay. actually push the pipes apart. And you won't know that until you're trying to get water back into your van, and then there's water pour, running across yeah. the floor. Okay. So it, it's very important that you get the water out. What you can do... And if this is a bit full and you want to set off, you've got yeah. to drain a bit out anyway. Yeah. Yeah. What you can do is flush it into your tank, you can drop it by flushing it into the tank. You only use that for the last little bit. Just drain the last little bit. If you have got a certain amount in there... Oh, I see, yeah. Flush the flush, chain. Flush it, yeah. yeah. Flush, flush it out, and then uh, the, other, okay. the other thing is important, that obviously, when you're flushing it, is actually... Plunk. Obviously, you've got a lot of other bits of stuff in there at the moment, which is all, all part right, of that. Okay. What's so in there, then? Well, to Torx spanner. <laughs> yeah, Torx spanner is obviously important. You can get yeah. one of them. It is 130 Newton metres. Right. Obviously, the reason why we check them is we don't want the wheel obviously coming off. Okay. And obviously, uh, with only having two wheels on a trailer, one coming off is not is a pretty serious situation. So it'll obviously. come with the the nut the nut it, end. But on you, it, no, it, you've or? got you've got a wheel nut spanner, which is uh, obviously for like taking the wheel. Oh, it looks wheel like off. a cross, one of those things. No, well, it's actually just it's just <coughs> it's just simple, basic similar to that. Okay. But not, but not obviously not a torque spanner. Yeah. Obviously, that would it's I think it's a 19 mil socket that you you require to get a torque spanner. It's best best to have a torque spanner because you can get the correct. You can use just the ordinary nut spanner, so just to check. But it's always best to have the correct correct tool. It okay. does tell you on the plate here, 130 new, newton meters. You're on the alloy. It does also t tell you what the steel one is, 88 newton meters. But you don't need to. But these, your main oh, one is 130 newton meters. Okay. Tire pressure also very important. So always make sure your tire pressure is correct as well. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. So I, I will check that before, obviously, before you leave leave with it. Obviously, you're not taking it today, but yeah. Right. Oh, I've got keys. Keys, keys, keys. Where I put them? Right, keys. Big key does most locks around the van. That key there is for your battery locker. Okay. So it's yep. a separate key for the battery locker. All the rest of the keys is on the big key. Okay. And you obviously got one as one as spare of each. Okay. Okay. Right, just leave them in here. Do you like to go inside? Okay. You got all your like. Like just above your head as you come in, just, just out here. Yeah. Okay. That's the right switch there for it. Yeah. Right. What do I just put my? Control yes, panel. Yeah. You can see obviously lights and obviously you're operating inside the van. Yeah. So this is a control panel for turning 12 volt systems on and off. That control panel is asleep at the moment. I can press any button, just lights it up. That switches your 12 volt systems on and off, which I'll explain a bit in a bit more in a minute. Water pump switches on and off. That show is 240 is connected. That showing is your leisure battery is connected. If I press the view levels, it will tell me the condition of my leisure battery. Okay, it's showing 14 volts at the moment because it's going through a charger. Okay. So obviously that's 240 boosting the power through the through the through the battery. Your normal but if you weren't connected to electric, that would be normally saying around about 12, 12 and a half a fully charged battery. Okay. Okay. If it if it gets down to this kind of level here, obviously what it can do is shut itself down because it doesn't want to flat totally flat the battery okay so then you'll let, you'll lose all the lights and everything else okay but as long as it's plugged into the campsite it's yeah charging. if you're plugged in yeah, uh, yeah electric you've got no problem it's okay. only when you go off off grid and some of these campsites have got no electric okay so first thing you do like obviously that's that's how all the 12 volt systems off now yeah first thing you do when you come into your van press the power button and get the 12 volt systems on okay yeah then the next thing we would do, obviously all these lights wouldn't come on all together, normally, but they're, they're all switched on at the moment. So once you switch your 12 volt systems on, the first thing we normally do is get the water system up and running. Okay? Okay. So underneath this bunk <laughs> here, right, in, that, in the corner there, that's your boiler. That, okay. That operates, um, heats, heats your water obviously, and it also does your heating system as well. So it's, it's a combined boiler. Okay. To drain it, is that yellow lever switch down there. You see that? That's okay. to drain your boiler. Yeah, that's to drain your, your water and out your taps in the system as well. And how often do you do Is that just when you're going home? Yeah, it? when you're going home or uh, definitely for winter. So right. make sure that is, uh, is, is drained for winter. The position that it's in at the moment allows water to run around the system mm -hmm. and out through your taps. If you lift it to that upright position, that will drain it. Okay. Okay. As I said, make sure you drain it for winter. Oh, lift that up and also open the taps to centre and all the, it'll let the water drain out. 
what I tend to do when I'm leaving site, 